What are you doing with the toilet? Good you're here. Traps, traps, where are the traps? Look out, there are more coming. Got it. The bug is deploying its traps. Here, take these. Oh, great. I taste with these, you know. Commander Vera! Took you long enough. Where? Where are they? Where'd they go? Come on! No, 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 no. Oh, come on, if I can just... A little further. Come on, please. Oh, come on, where are they? Sure smells broken. Guess I should at least try to clean this up. And just leave your review right here. Thank you. Oh, what a nice young lady. Well, young-ish. Even her arachnid was well behaved. Now, back to my music. Oh, darn it. Better replace the transistor again. I think the Hall Fairophone still has one. Uh, it's good to know they didn't chew up my heirlooms. It's a shame I can barely see anything these days either. Now, where is... My transistor! Transistor! What do they want with a transistor? One year's out of date, too. Why something so specific? Why? Why does that make me... No. They don't know what they're doing. It probably just tastes good to them. They're just animals. Intelligent for animals, of course, but... Animals! Just animals! What is it I can't remember? It's fine. They're just animals. Everything is fine! <laughs> well, your roommate smells like she's having fun. Yes, that's my employer. She is very jolly. You know, I'm amazed you were able to get the Orchidea working without my help. Doesn't the light bother you? Oh, it's fine. I think we need some light here and there. Besides, the Ferrophone doesn't have a communication line up there. I will admit I had a little help from the neighbors. So, how are things up there with all those insects? And the flowers? I remember, you've been wanting to be where the flowers grow since you were just a sling. And for so long, you seemed so... Anyway, I'm just glad you finally got to follow your dreams. And an engineer, too! Just like you always wanted! It's great, Dad. I really love it here. And who knows? Maybe you'll even meet someone special. Dad! But, you know, I can't help but worry. If you do meet someone up there, promise me you'll be careful. Oh, Dad, I'll be fine. Ah! That's not strictly what I... Well, I'm sure we wasted enough of the busy big city engineer's time. All right, kids. Say goodbye to your sister. Rose, Have a good goodbye. sleep. Rose. Good sleep. Sleep well, Rose. Have a good sleep. Have a good sleep, everyone. I love you, and I miss every one of you. Yeah, we miss you. Sleep well, my little tarantula. You too, Dad. Who else would I be getting a message from? Hello. Your name is R R Rose. Uh, yes. And you are Mundle? Mundle. Yes. M my name is M Mundle. Yes. You just moved in with a, an, an insect named S Sephodra, right? Uh, yes, I did. Do you know her? Oh, do I? <laughs> do I know her? <laughs> yes, I know Sephodra. 
How much do you n know about her? Uh, not much, to be honest. She just hired me to be her engineer. Though, to be honest, I haven't gotten to do a lot of engineering. Oh? To tell me about it. Oh, uh, it's nothing. It would be rude of me to talk ill of her. She's done so much for me, after all. I s see. Well, if you ever d d do want to talk, I'm here. Thank you, Mundel. I really appreciate that. The truth is, this has all been a lot, and I could really use a friend. Uh-huh. Yes. A friend. Yes. Remember that. And anything you need to get, get off your chest, remember your f f friend. I'll keep that in mind. Y you know, you're the first friend I've made up here. Actually, you might be the first friend I... Anyway, it's getting late and I should be getting to bed. I'll be sure to call you tomorrow. Have a good sleep, Mundle. Yes. G good night, R Rose. Hmm. A friend. <laughs> <sighs> Was she always a crazy old woman? Most insects can be divided into two groups, holometabolous and hemimetabolous. Holometabolous insects I'm sure you're familiar with. The young hatches from the egg as a worm-like larva. After a while, it becomes an unmoving pupa. Finally, the pupa splits, and a very different adult emerges. Caterpillar to butterfly, maggot to fly, grub to beetle. All of these are holometabolous insects. And the truth is, they're as strange to me as they are to you. You see, I am a roach, a hemimetabolous insect. There is no such thing as a roach larva. Instead, like you, we start out as a smaller version of ourselves. This is called a nymph. Instead of becoming a pupa, the nymph will gradually grow larger. Once an adult, it finally gains its wings. That's true of all insects, by the way. Only adults have wings. Children cannot fly. There are other insects with nymphs. True bugs, grasshoppers, crickets, and of course, mantises. Arachnids, too, have children that are smaller versions of themselves. A young spider is called a spiderling, or sling. There is something I find very interesting about the names you have chosen for insect children. They all describe spirits. Larva means evil spirit. The aquatic nymph of a dragonfly is called a naiad or water spirit. And nymph itself? Spirit of nature. <laughs> 